Well, an eyesore in Buffalo's Seneca Babcock neighborhood is finally getting what neighbors say is some much needed attention. Good evening once again. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. The city says the owner of the Bataglia Demolition Building left it to rot after a major fire there last year. So now the city is taking things into their own hands. Channel 2's Rob Hackford is live along Seneca Street now where demolition has begun. So Rob, how's it coming along? Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, uh, neighbors tell me that the main steel structure was taken down just a couple hours ago and crews finished up for the day around 3.30. The city says this process, though, is going to take about two weeks with 40 loads, truck loads of debris expected to be taken away from this site. Well, the building is just off Seneca Street near Peabody Street, but if you've taken the 190 any time in the past year heading northbound toward the city, you can see it out to the right hand side of your vehicle just before the Smith Street exit. The building was used as part of a concrete crushing operation, which the owner Peter Battaglia is also being sued over because of air quality concerns in the neighborhood. Now, back in April, two common council members took action and urged a judge to do something about the building. And then in June, a judge ruled in favor of this demolition. Now, the city's fronting the $143,000 it'll cost to take the building down. As they say, Battaglia neglected his duty. Bataglia demolition has stalled at every opportunity from cleaning up this site. And our building inspectors have worked and worked through the court system to be here today where this will be cleaned up and taken down to restore some calm and peace to this neighborhood. Well, Amder says the plan is to build Bataglia demolition for the cost of the teardown. She added that the city's legal department is ready to get that money back if Bataglia does not pay. And neighbors I just spoke to say uh, a few minutes ago, they said that this is a step in the right direction, but there is a long way to go. For now, live in downtown Buffalo, Rob Hack for Channel 2 News.